everybody welcome back to the channel let me flip you guys up today's video seems like clickbait i'm not gonna lie i don't know how to title this video without people automatically thinking this is clickbait this is just absolutely mind-blowing someone told me about this lake and i was like no that seems wrong and he was like no there's a boat ramp at a golf course and i was like i saw it on google maps but i thought it was a, like i don't know and i saw it on fish brain too and i was like no it's probably just a lie that's so weird there's a literal boat ramp at a golf course i'm fishing on a golf course right now on my boat um <laughs> i don't even know what to say i'll show you guys a screenshot so this the blue dot is obviously me everything around me is the golf course so i'm surrounded by a golf course right now we have so many golfers out today too i'll do some b-roll of them so you guys know i'm really not lying like this is this is not a joke it's a little windy out here today but um i'm planning on staying out here as long as i possibly can i can use my engine here too it's just a six mile per hour speed limit. <laughs> this is just crazy. I don't understand it, but hey, I'm not complaining. This is pretty sick. Um, but really, uh, the main focus on today's video that I also have to touch point on, today's video is sponsored by Shop Carl's. If you don't know what Shop Carl's is, it's basically an online, you, little, you literally go on your little web browser thing and you go, you know, www.whateversshopcarls.com. I'll have a link down below for you guys too, but you can order everything fishing related and I mean everything fishing related. I, that's where I get 99.9% .9 of my tackle. Uh, rods, reels, line, terminal tackle, apparel, um, et cetera, et cetera. So if you guys wanna go check them out, check the link down below. If you become a Shop Carl's member, you can save 30% off of almost all your tackle. And then you also get credit as well. If there's a product that you're buying that you can't get for 30% off, you get credit, which is so sick. And over time, your credit builds up like crazy. And before you know it, you have a lot of credit. So um, that happened to me a couple of times. <laughs> just a couple of times. I'm so out of breath and so excited right now. It's not even funny. This place looks so sick. It looks like Topwater Heaven, even though it is three o'clock right now. So we'll give Topwater a little bit of a shot, but definitely gonna end off the day throwing a lot of Topwater. Today's just gonna be a sick video. I'm so excited. I'm also gonna show you guys what I got in my Shop Carl's box. And uh, we're gonna get out on the water. The wind is ripping right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me. That'd be really bad if you can't hear me. Um, I'm gonna hop on my beautiful boat right here and then we're gonna get out on the water, which is Yep, right there. This is crazy. This is really crazy. I swear I'm not clickbaiting you guys. Like, there's really a boat ramp out on a on a golf course. I don't. I gotta go. Uh, I'm gonna get on the boat and I'll see you guys in a second. Oof. Okay. Let me set you guys up. I got a tripod for my camera, so I kind of feel fancy. I feel like a real YouTuber at this point. Okay, so this is what my uh, shop Carl's order came in on. Carl's main tackle came in in if that makes any logical sense so three videos in a row so far i've been going on and on about the not these these right here so i got three packs of them um the name of them is something that i can't remember and give me two seconds i literally it doesn't even say i'm gonna have these linked down below for you guys because i've been catching a lot of fish on these recently and i feel like um it would be it would be cool for you guys to go check them out if you want to so oh wait there's a name on it right here Freestyle Junior. There's a big size, but the Freestyle Junior works really well for me. But I'll have a link down below because it's killer bait and you guys should definitely go check it out. And then I got some tubes for smallmouth fishing. I've never thrown a tube and actually caught smallmouth on it before and everyone says it's so good. So I still pick some up and then we got some five out hooks, but this is what I ordered this month to get some of my tackle built up again after uh, using a lot of it really quickly. So anyways, now you guys know what I got. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video shop, Carl's. You guys are amazing. I love you guys, XOXO. Um, now we are gonna go fishing on this body of water. <sighs> I swear I'm not clickbaiting. This is absolutely insane. I'm on a golf course right now on my boat. Anyways, also you guys are probably really confused on why I'm out on my boat right now after everything that happened this weekend. If you haven't seen that video, that video is insane. So many things go wrong with the boat. At the end of the video, I'll kind of update you guys and tell you guys what happened with the boat because it's kind of long, lengthy, and it's a headache to really talk about. And I want to focus on fishing right now, not focus on how my boat was absolutely destroyed a couple days ago and now we're somehow randomly out on the water. Um, this intro is really long. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. Drop a like on this video, comment down below, I'll be answering all the comments on today's video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content and uh we're gonna go hit the water right now catch some fish i'm gonna switch you guys to the chest cam stay tuned and enjoy today's episode
right, we're at spot number one. I'm gonna continue my obsession and I'm gonna throw the Freestyle Junior yet again. I got a different color this time. Has a little bit, I think it's like bluish kind of tone on the top. Looks pretty sick. I don't know, these things have just been slaying it for me lately. Got one. Almost took the freaking rod out of my hand. Oh, that's a good fish. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that hook set, but literally almost just took the rod out of my hand. He was sitting right under that piling on that bridge right there. Let me try to scoot off of it. Whew, something about this bait, man, I'm telling you. I will totally leave this link down below. The Freestyle Junior, I've been throwing it nonstop, and it's just been cranking numbers and fish and size, everything you possibly imagine. I've been just, I've just been cranking fish on it, numbers and size. <laughs> the wind is picking up like crazy, but we got a fish under that bridge piling over there, throwing that Freestyle Junior. I'm telling you, it's just been catching me so much fish lately. Um, but it's time to put this fish back. Still not a bad fish though. Never fishing here before catching a fish like this is definitely not a complaint. There he goes. <laughs> Sweet, fish number one in the boat. That is what I call a good start to the day. We've actually went around this whole entire lake, taking a couple casts at a couple different spots. I'm just trying to figure this place out a little bit. This is literally what the golf carts go on back and forth on. I've seen so many of them. Oh my God, no way. Oh, you son of a gun. I knew you felt weird. My rod made that noise that usually it means a big in. You just got a big in. Just a little pickerel. See you, bud. Still right under that bridge, same spot. All right, so I'm taking a break right now and I'm sitting under the bridge and I kind of have like a rope tied around the bow right now so we don't move. And I look down and there's a bunch of bluegills. So call me lame, but I have an ice jig on me. Uh, I don't know where I actually just put it. Right here. So micro little ice jig and I tipped it with a little piece of um, a drag and drop the morning dawn color so we got a little pink setup right here and I'm gonna drop it down and see if we can catch some bluegill I don't think I've ever been bluegill fishing on this channel and, I, and we're gonna go bass fishing some more I promise but I'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna try to catch these bluegills oh 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 yes 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 that was so fast that was so fast. Look at that little ice jig. I don't even know why I have an ice jig on me if I'm being completely honest, but I had one in my little box and here we go. That's a little bluegill. That is so awesome. That was down there for maybe 30 seconds. So I, I think we're about to get into a little bit of a sleigh fest. <laughs> I told you I looked down and there were so many bluegill. Wow, that was that was too fast. Let's get a big one though. Let's get a Mondo. Got one. I don't even have to cut that whole entire clip. That was three fish. There's big ones down there though. You. Oh my God, they're all right here. Oh, I think I just fired them up. <laughs> this is so much fun. All right, well, <laughs> we caught another bluegill. Not to uh, flex on you guys or anything. They're all the same size though. There's a couple big ones down there, but they're not going after it, but at least I get to show you guys some fish. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm. Do you guys think I should put this on a hook? Is that bad? I kind of want to live bait this bluegill right now. Nah, not not today, not today. If that's the type of video you guys want to see though, drop a comment down below. Live bait, bluegill fishing. I have some spots that I would kill it at. All right, I think I'm I'm done. I'm done bluegill fishing. I had my fun. We should get back to bass fishing and try to catch some more. That was a lot of fun though. Tell me not. I mean, sometimes you just gotta kick it back, keep it real, and catch some bluegills. It's just fun. I don't know what else to tell you guys, but I promise you we are going to bass fish right now and catch some fish. Maybe I can catch a, a bass just sitting right here. I decided to make one more cast and I caught a really pretty one. I think this is a red breast sunfish. 
I don't know, I just decided to show you guys, sorry. I, I swear I'm gonna bass fish now, but I just wanted to catch one more, so. S see you later. All right, everybody, we are currently heading back to the launch right now. Are you guys shaking a lot? <laughs> My camera is just shaking right now. Okay, I'm gonna hold you guys. Driving and vlogging. So basically, it wasn't bad. This place is just unbelievable, honestly. It's just the fact that we're at a golf course right now on my boat is what blows my mind. But I mean, I don't know if I would come back here exactly. The bite isn't anything special. I heard the spot is good though. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It was one of our hottest days so far this year, today. So probably not my best move. Um, but definitely a pretty cool spot for sure. Uh, and, and for the people that stay tuned until the end, you probably actually care about what happened to my boat. So a lot of you guys commented a bunch of different things and everything you commented, I already knew. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys a lot. Like seriously appreciate it because maybe you guys would have said something that I didn't know. But um, I went to Marine Technical School, so I know a decent amount. And I also contacted my teacher that, you know, taught me at Marine Technical School and um, He's the guy that helped me with the boat the most when it happened. Anything something happens to the boat, I call him and we work on it together. But it was basically just a really dumb fix. Um, the gauge wire was the same, but the wire that we bought to connect the battery negative on that one to positive on that one, it didn't work. So it kind of just, yeah. So we put a different gauge wire on. No, well we put the, <laughs> we made sure the gauge wires were the same on both, of course, cause you know, that's extremely important and then it just ended up working. Uh, my trailer is not gonna be fixed for a while. Knowing my dad, he's not gonna fix it anytime soon because that's just how he is. So uh, yeah, my trailer's probably not gonna get fixed for a while. It just really, that angers me a lot looking at my boat and being like, yeah, she looks nice. And then looking at my trailer and realizing how messed up it is. But it happens, whatever. Hopefully I get it fixed soon and we get that figured out. But the trolling motor is currently working. The engine runs, that is awesome. So, you know, the boat, we glued it together. You know, she's not perfect, but she's good right now. But thank you guys so much for viewing today's episode and staying tuned until the end. I tried so hard at this place. I fished my butt off and I only caught a bass, a pickerel, and a, <laughs> a bunch of bluegill. I threw topwater for a while because this place looks like it would be legendary for topwater, but I was extremely wrong. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you guys so much for 11K on YouTube. You guys are insane. And I just hit 11K on Instagram too. So go follow my Instagram. Make sure to go check out Shop Crawlers down below. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for viewing today's episode. I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in two days.